All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Monday edition of Spur Gaming. We're back at it this Monday morning. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I have been up since like bright and early this morning between 5 and 5.30, so I'm kind of dragging a little bit. You'll have to uh, just kind of, you know, overlook if I'm uh, not making sense this morning or something like that. But anyway, we're back in Roblox. Who would have ever thought Spur to be playing Roblox? We're back in Roblox. We're playing British Railways today. It is a train simulator and it's actually a really cool one. Uh, you've got one of three things you can do in game. You can drive, you can explore, you can guard. Driving is self-explanatory. You drive the trains, explore, you can ride players' trains. So uh, another player could ride my train when I'm driving if they want to. Or you can guard. I'm not exactly sure what guard does. I know they open and close the doors like they control the doors on the commuter cars. I want to say they do tickets too. I'm not sure. I guess it's like a conductor. I'm not sure what they do, but we're going to drive. Now we got a list of trains that we can pick from. We got the 142 is free. This is a free game, of course. Uh, the 142, and then you've got these other train sets that you can buy for these coins. We got 1,267 right now. So every trip that you complete, you get a guarantee, depending on the length of the trip, the mileage. So you earn coins for every trip. Doesn't matter how many people you haul. That's irrelevant. You just drive the train. You earn your money. We're going to do the class 142. We're going to do British Railways and we're going to do four car set. Sit continue. This is our map over here on the right. You really, you can't tell that much about it because it's kind of small over here, but it's actually a really nice map. I was actually, I was quite impressed with like how big it is. It covers a lot of territory. Uh, routes on the left here. We can do uh, leading up to 12 minutes for 51 coins. Uh, let's do Freston Junction, 17 minutes for 93 coins. And then the actual route is going to be Victoria Dock siding to Freston Junction. Let's take that. This is going to be our route over here. It's got quite a few stops, right? Pretty good. We'll earn a little money off of this. Let's hit continue. And we'll get at it. All right, so we got a clear signal. We got a 15 mile an hour speed limit. Let's go ahead. Knock the brakes off. Let's get the sander going. Let's get all our lights going. You can't have wheel slip in this game. You can't have wheel slip, especially when it's raining. It'll slip like crazy when it's raining. That will get full. Uh, 15 mile an hour speed limit. We're going to fudge it a little bit. We're going to take a little bit here. Yeah, we're going to fudge it just a little bit. I haven't quite figured out the horn. Like, you can't just mash it and hold it. Like, you can only just hit it like... Just hit it like a button, if that makes sense. All right, 45 mile an hour. Let's go. Next station sh stop is going to be 0.6 miles away. We got another clear signal. We're good on that. Yeah, British Railway is completely foreign to me. I don't know anything about it. Like, I know zero about this. Like, absolutely zero about it. All right, speed went up to 80. We can go a little bit faster. We're not going to be able to get up to 80. We're 0.3 out. 0.25. All right, let's go ahead and start slowing up. A little bit more. That's the key to this game is like timing everything out, right? Like you got to be there at a certain time. Like we're running early. Luckily so far, I like to be about uh, 30 mile an hour when we hit the platform. Go full here. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're here early. We're like a minute early, man. Spur is a stickler for schedules. You ask my kids, like, you better be ready on time. I am a huge stickler for time. This is the way I am. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. So we made it here within plenty of time. Like, we're way early. Way early on this. I'm really kind of surprised we got a signal. Like, sometimes the signals won't be favorable for you uh, if you're running early. So, yeah, we saw it. We opened the doors. You see the doors are open and little people getting on and off. It's all people on the platform here. Now... All these people aren't real players. These are all AI, but you'll see like every once in a while, there'll be a real player scattered out amongst the people and they can ride like they could get on my train and ride if they wanted to, which is pretty cool. Let's see. Whoa, can we zoom in here? Yeah, we can. There we go. 
There's old Spur in the cab there. We're going to Freston Junction. Oh, and I guess this is a class 142, right? That's what we took. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I, you know, Roblox kind of gets a bad rap. And I admit, you know, games on Roblox are really just kind of hit and miss. Like, sometimes you find really good games, and sometimes the games are horrible. Uh, I've been playing Roblox off and on for a long time because of my kids. Like, my kids love Roblox. They're all the time in Roblox. Uh, so, yeah, there's been games that I've really enjoyed, like this one. Uh, Twisted is another one. Uh, there was a... a first person shooter that I played a long time ago that looked just like Call of Duty like it did not look anything like Roblox like it was 100% like Call of Duty it blew my mind how good that game was we may have to see if we can find it and try it but uh yeah the thing about Roblox that I kind of associate with it a lot of games are just really kind of grindy clicky games like there's games that I've played with my kids who are like all you do is left click like left click left click and when you're done left clicking, you left click some more. Like, it's seriously, that's all you do. I'm surprised, like, the left mouse button on my mouse even works because some of these games are just, like, so clicky and grindy. But uh, other ones, you know, I mean, really any game is kind of grindy. Any game you play, you're working towards some kind of a goal, whether you're earning gold or money or XP or whatever. But, uh... You know, like Twisted, the thing I like about Twisted is it's got a lot of different things that you can do in the game to get towards that goal. So it's not just the same thing all the time, clicking the left click button and harvesting something or picking up trash or whatever, you know? All right, anyway, I digress. We're 40 outs. We're doing good. Yeah, we're doing good. We'll do about 50. We're on a clear. 0.25. Let's go ahead and come out of the throttle. Let's start slowing up. Got another clear. Yeah, those are good. You can get uh, stop signals. We're doing schedule wise. Yeah, we're we're pretty close to on time here. We're pretty close. Got about 30 seconds. So, yeah, you got 30 seconds to get your butts off the train or uh, get on whatever it is you're going to be doing. You got 30 seconds because either way, we're leaving. Like I said, I'm a stickler for schedules. Y'all get on. Get on or get off. Whatever it is you're doing, just hurry up and do it. We're a whetstone. Pretty. It's not. It's it's cool. It's kind of got this like uh, stylistic look to it. Like it's got the Roblox look. Nothing wrong with that though. Nothing wrong with that at all. Cause you know art, game art can be a huge bottleneck for any game. Like it takes a lot of people, a lot of time, a lot of money. Like it's a, it's a huge bottleneck. So if you have more simplistic art, uh, you eliminate a lot of that bottleneck. And you focus more on the gameplay. Like, I, you know, I've played games that had some of the most amazing art ever that just were horrible games. And I've played other games that had really mediocre art that were an absolute blast. Like, you were so immersed in the game. Uh, it just, you didn't, you didn't pay attention to that other stuff. All right, I don't know what this stuff, what this signal is called, but it's a double yellow. That's what I call advanced approach. Cancel you out. Yeah, it's a double yellow. We're fine. So the next one should be an approach. I, I kind of treat these like uh, US signals a little bit. Yeah, we got an approach. Let's slow up a little bit here. Cancel you out. I don't know what the signal rules are. I just like I slow it down to like 30 to 35, something like that. All right, it sounds like that little tone we had meant that uh, we got a signal. Yeah, we got a signal. We're good on that. Hopefully, we're not crossing over. I don't think we are. What's our time? Almost on time. Pretty, pretty dang close. Pretty good so far. 
apologize for the disruption to your journey today. There we go. Now we're sorry. As we say, she didn't seem like she wanted to slow up for a second. All right, let's go ahead and stop her right here. Uh, 16, 10, and 15 seconds. That's not bad. I'll take it. I'll, I'll take that all day. Got another double yellow. There's our people getting on the train. That's quite the outfit he's got on, but you know it's none of my business. We're just hauling people. I don't care how you dress. Who we got going on? So yeah, there's a few people, a few people in the server. They're, uh, I guess they're just driving trains too. Not a lot going on. Like I said, every once in a while you get a guard. I, I've gotten to the point where I don't think I'll take guards on because like I said, it always makes you really super late. More is more of a hassle than fun to me, at least. All right, close doors. Y'all hurry up. Do your thing. We got to go. It's five seconds after. We got to go now. All right. All right, there we go. Advanced approach. Well, I'm going to call it. I know it's not right. It, it, whatever it is in uh, British railway speak, I don't know. I call it advanced approach. Next stop, Leeton. We got uh, 0.7 miles is 1613. There we go. We're starting. Keep, yeah, okay. We're on schedule now. What's our light up here say? Uh, looks like an approach. Yes, it is. All right. Well. We'll just kind of go with it a little bit. Hopefully we'll get a light. We'll slow her up a little bit, kind of ease around here. Give it a little time to change, maybe. I think it's it's dependent on like your schedule too, like what you're running schedule wise. What we got? We got another approach. All right, so we're good. We're only 0.24 out, so it really, it doesn't matter now. All right, we should be right about on time. Uh, 12.50. Yeah, we're doing good. Let's be there at 16.13. You're down to 25, and then we'll stop the rest of the way. The train now approaching platform. One is the 16.14 regional service to Freston Junction. Calling out St. James Park and Freston All right, Junction. time to stop. This train is formed of four coaches. At least we got another clear to leave off on, so that's good. Yeah, the signal's kind of jacked with you a little bit. All right, open doors. You get your stuff and get off fast, please. Dude's got a sloth on his back. I've never seen that before. I like sloths, so sloths are so cool, right? <laughs> They're like one of the coolest animals. What else we got on here? Uh, yeah, I don't know what's up with the Phantom of the Opera there, but it's Roblox. It, I don't question it. I just run the trains. All right, let's go. Doors closed. Get a little throttle here, get our speed up. Yeah, we'll have to see about buying another train set. I'd like to buy another train set and then get another route, too. I was actually wanting to play some more Twisted, but Twisted got it. It got updated. Told you I can't talk today. It got it. It got updated the other day. Um... And it's a little buggy now. I, I, I'm constantly getting disconnected from it. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just get randomly disconnected. If it wasn't for that, uh, we would do some more. I don't know where we're going to be able to do some more. Hopefully, they're going to update it and fix that.
All right, 0.25 out. Let's go ahead and give a little bit of braking effort here. Yeah, that's the thing in this game. You just kind of got to work the brakes back and forth a little bit. What's our time? A little like 15, 35. Yeah, we're a little behind on this one. Go ahead and stop. Yeah, you people got to hurry. Like, we only got 15 seconds, all right? <laughs> we're counting down. Get your stuff. Get off quick. There you go. All right, we're getting the doors. They're doing their thing. Yeah, we can't mess around, people. Y'all got to go. I would totally be on the intercom. I'd be like, go, go, go. Get off the train. <laughs> Get off now. All right, we're running a little behind. Close doors. Yeah, we're a little bit behind. Come on, go. Uh, 20 seconds late. That's not bad. Alright, let's get out of here. Cancel AWS. I don't even know what kind of signal we're running in. I'm, I'm horrible. I'm horrible. I don't know what kind of signal it is. Like, I have no clue. I know it's not going to be a stop. Yeah, it looks like a clear. Maybe we're running on a clear. Or a double yellow advanced approach. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It looks like we're diverging too. I guess the uh, the little white diagonal line is a diverging route. All right, we do 60 through here. That works out. Now we go down. We got a yeah. I got an approach. Yeah, let's lower up a little bit here. And we should have another signal coming around up here. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go. We got a clear. I always get an approach. Like I always get that advanced approach and approach right there. I've never had a clear through there. All right, we got 30 coming up. And I think this is going to be the end of the route for us, guys. Like, it flew by. I think our 30 is right up here. There it is. Nice. And a little bit ahead of schedule. Yeah, we're about, uh, about 45 seconds ahead. Not bad, man. Where's rocking it like a boss? All right, let's stop. Stop, 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 <laughs> stop. I'd say we're rocking it like a boss. Oh, there we go. You know what? Nice way to end it right there. I wasn't even thinking about that being a dead end. All right, let's get the doors open. Yeah, okay. Well, we had the little uh, oops at the end there, but you know what? Everyone was okay. So we made our trip. We earned 81 coins. Why didn't we get 93? Is it because we hit that bumper? Really? They go to penalize us for that. We hit the, the buffer at the stop and they're going to penalize us for that. Route completed. Uh, stopped at station five stations. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't show us getting penalized for anything, but I'm sure we did for that. Well, you know what? It's fine. Anyway, we got enough money to, uh, to get another train. Let's hit. Oh, we can't. We got. Yeah, let's despawn. We don't want to continue. Never mind. Uh, let's go to shop. Let's figure out what we're going to buy next. So, uh, yeah, you can get coins or Robux. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Don't worry about that. Uh, most of the time, I don't spend money on Robux. But, uh, uh, yeah, this is, uh, that's liveries. These are our routes and our trains. Here we go. I really kind of think the 170. You guys let me know. If you know anything about these trains, let me know in the comments. We got a class 153, 156, 170, 350. 
90, uh, 220, and 221. I would like to pick something that's a little bit faster in a longer haul, like something that we can actually run for a bit, you know? So y'all let me know in the comments if you know anything about these trains or this game. Let me know. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Love all of you. We'll catch you on the rails next time. Peace. Powerful, I don't think... Oh, he... Oh, what was that? It was horrible. Lamb on the brakes. If you're not sitting down, you are now. <laughs> what? No, no, big cat. No, <laughs> stop. Oh, no. No, no, no. Can you go? Uh-uh. No. Uh -uh.